What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Detroit Love, with another video. Team Encoder has just come out and released the soft mod that just upgrades your NFL Blitz and takes it to a new level. Check it out. So these are the three tools that you would need. A Phillips screwdriver to open up the rear of the cabinet. You're going to need a micro USB data cable this cannot be a cable used to charge something this will be something that's uh, used with say a digital camera that you might have in the house or maybe a hard drive uh, something that requires data not just a charging cable so it's best to just buy off of Amazon and I can link one in the, the description but you do need it to be long enough to extend from your computer or if you have a laptop, that'd be better because you can bring that closer. But it has to reach from the NFL Blitz cabinet to your computer. And then you need a USB thumb drive. I just happen to have a 32 gig drive, which is adequate for this project. Removing the back panel will reveal the PCB that is mounted to the back of the monitor. I'm just going to simply identify all of the key components that you need to uh, enter with for this tutorial. This here is power is indicated by this power symbol here. So that core there plugs in. You don't have to be able to see that. It's just you can feel that you take it out, put it back in. Okay. Also, this USB port. Here is a micro USB port, so you'll need a cable, the micro, the smaller end, the other end will go into your computer. Okay, so if you look at the picture shown here, you have to plug this in the same way. So the smaller end of the cord would face you as you plug it in. Again, you don't have to see it, just have to know that the smaller piece plugs toward you, towards you. Okay, here's that on off switch. So when you switch it off, and it's even slide up on. See, it's like a square. see that square and when you click it up it'll be off see that now that's off and you know it's the right one because the machine won't boot up if it's not in the on position okay the last thing would be this USB port here now, I just happen to have something plugged into here because this is powering my backlit credit uh, coin doors or buttons but this is normally empty and so it shows USB and that it needs to be empty for this project open up a browser on your computer or laptop and go to team team hyphen encoder.com forward slash blessments here at the site you're gonna have instructions that you're gonna follow there's two files that you want to download just click on the links and download those to somewhere that you recognize and know how to get to typically your desktop or downloads folder just use both links download each of these files separately there's two files that you must download put these in the same location hit save and now you will have your two files ready So now that we have the two files, we're going to extract the first one. We're simply going to keep all the defaults. This is the program that you would actually execute to make the mod or the change to your cabinet. So it will extract to a folder with the same name. And you can go inside that folder and locate that application. Just run that app and let that sit in the background until 
it is needed in the steps. So at this point, you have your USB drive. Make sure it's formatted and empty and insert that into your computer. And you, at this point, you've right clicked on the file and you're extracting directly to the drive. No folder, no subfolders. Uh, just simply extract the contents of this file directly to the root drive of your USB drive. This is going to take longer. I've speed this up by 10 times. But once you're done, you'll have the contents of the folder. At this point, I'm going to follow the steps from the website. Remove the power from the PCB. So simply grab hold of this and pull it straight down. You see that square? And when you click it up, it'll be off. See there? Now that's off. Up one side of the micro USB cable into your computer and the other side into the cabinet. Again you want the shorter side towards you and you don't have to see it you just have to feel your way it'll only go in one way. So now with the switch in the off position, the USB is in to your computer and into the back. Then you're going to plug the power Now when you plug the power in, you can see through here that you're getting power to the unit by looking through that USB slot. Push to the right for the unit to power on. Now nothing is going to show on the screen because the unit is switched to the off position on the back but it will show up on your computer. So Now after waiting the two minutes, you can remove the USB cable because that's no longer needed. The data has been updated onto the PCB and now you'll insert the USB drive into the USB slot. There you go. All right, the unit's on. We need to switch this back to on, which is down. So the switch is down. We have our USB installed, we have our power, we have the USB cable removed. So now, so we're going to 
unplug the power cable, the red light will go off, and now we're going to plug it back in. Give that just a few minutes or seconds. Now we're going to power the, the blitz on by holding the power to the right. Press it once. We have our blitz backlit marquee on. We have our screen loading up. Our normal boot up screen. There you go. You'll use the number two or the first joystick to allow you to move, maneuver through the games. So the Blissmas Treat, if you beat this game, then you can unlock the late hits. So let's see if we can start. We have to use controller one. Blue button. Blue button starts. Can you make it 25 rounds? Moving this controller from these Christmas trees. Use the wrong house and game is over. Blue button. Good. Presence under that tree. You earn five points. This is round two. We're just picking random Christmas trees. Alright. Score of seven. Okay. Don't recall what the score I need. Okay. All right. So I got out and moved on to the next tree. Going to avoid the evil looking tree. Okay. Presence under that tree. Try this regular tree. Okay. 70. Uh, looks like. I don't know if that's 70 points or 10 points. I earned 10 points. All right. So 38, 33 points. Try this one. Uh oh. No presence. Seven points. I don't know if it's just a, re a pattern. It appears to me that you just simply need to score over 50 points right. to complete this game. So I think the second tree was bad, so we're going to skip that one. All right. We're at 45 points. first one all right so Santa has worked his Christmas magic so we should have unlocked late hits in 2k to activate the late hits now that we completed the mission we must reboot the cabinet so once you have completed the blitzmas treat you have unlocked the late hits there's other games here you can explore with and try if you like there's the dreamcast version of nfl blitz 2000 um, and uh you have retro arch which you can add other games and experiment that but that's not what you came here for you came here simply to be able to play your normal blitz that came with the cabinet but with the late hits and so even though this says rk one up blitz uh that just takes you back to the RK one up menu. So just simply hit the blue button on the first controller on the left, loading game, please wait. And now you have your normal screen. And now, so the late hits are currently only in the 2000 gold. So they're currently not in Blitz by itself, nor the Blitz 99, they, uh, the team encoder indicates that those are coming soon and so you probably have to do this process over again with that update uh, but since you have this video you can just simply 
download the new file that they make available and whenever that is released and you'll have it but for now the only game that has the late hits is the blitz 2000 gold edition that's displayed here you can launch this with any controller that you want to play with and you will have your late hits the rk one up blitz cabinet has what you always wanted late hits baby Back in sun. Oh, it's half time. I was going to bust somebody's ass. Check it out. That's right. You better call 911. You better call your mama. Get up. That's everybody's out. Bust his ass. Bust his ass. Miss it. Ugh. Oh, we need it right there. Third down and goal. This is critical. Oakland. Yes. Take him out, field goal. This is a huge play. Check it out. Yes. Get out of here, son. Actually, everyone wins thanks to Team Encoder.